Hey, it's Ben from Sketchy, and if you've ever gone completely blank when your attending asked you what you thought might be going on with your patient, well, we've got a tool to help you practice so you don't freeze in that moment. And I'll give you an example of this today with one of our bugs and drugs cases. So we're starting here uh, in our infectious disease rounds, and we're going to get a patient, just quick one-liner with some details, and then an attached image. Uh, so we see there's posterior cervical lymphadenopathy, mild splenomegaly, heterophile antibody test. All of these words should be cluing you in uh, that I think we're working with Epstein-Barr virus causing uh, some mono here. Uh, so great, we did it. We got it right. We get our little gold star. Um, but then in classic attending fashion, we're going to be asked, what do we do about it? Uh, what's the first choice anti uh, first line antimicrobial that we'd give to cover this patient's EBV infection? Uh, and I'm just going to say supportive care and see what happens because I don't think we give meds for this. I'm so good at this. That was a bit of a trick question. It is supportive care for EBV. We don't usually use antimicrobials for that. Uh, but great, I had to come up with that information myself. Let's try another one. Uh, we got a 34-year-old man who recently came here from Guatemala. He's got new seizures, uh, no fever or head trauma, so we can sort of rule out some of those other causes. We got a, a non-contrast CT here. That does not look good. I'm going to go with the neurosystosis. don't know how to spell that. Let's see if that's close enough. Uh, it did ask me for the bug, not the disease, but, you know, we're... we're uh, we're going to give you a little bit of benefit of the doubt there. Uh, we got tinea solium, and what's the treatment for this? Oh boy, it's been a while since I did micro. Uh, <laughs> let's say I have no idea what the right treatment is. Let me take a wild guess here and go with albendazole. Oh, I'm so good at this. Thank you, Sketchy Micro. Props. You can see how Sketchy Cases helps you think through these problems without sort of giving you the answer, but then gives you some sort of feedback on this. Let me try one more uh, and see if I can get stumped here. Uh, fever, malaise, diffuse rash, non-pyritic copper-colored macules, papules, uh, plantar lesions. What's the bug here? Mm, this I have absolutely no idea. Uh, let's say that. Okay, so we had lymphadenopathy, non-tender cervical and inguinal nodes. What causes rash and lymph node changes? So I think with lymphadenopathy, uh, I'm going to guess uh, that this is syphilis. I guess I should, I should say T pallida here. Didn't spell syphilis right. That's okay. It'll figure it out. Let's see if I get this right. Yes, nailed it. Okay, secondary syphilis. And it's going to ask me how to treat it. Perfect. We're going to slap this guy with some penicillin. Amazing. Penicillin G. Awesome. So... Even when you have a hard time with the bug, we'll give you some help. We'll get you to the right answer uh, and, and get you succeeding on your rounds. We've got a bunch more of these bugs and drugs cases. We've got tons of full clinical cases so you can practice to your heart's content. And like everything we do here at Sketchy, this makes studying actually fun.